Good afternoon. My name is Samantha Fraz, and I'm doing my master's here at Carleton University with Dr. David Miller. Um, and I work with fungus. <laughs> okay. How does one get into the business of working with fungus? Uh, it just kind of happens to you. Is it gross? Sometimes. Is it slimy? Always. But is it important? I think so, and here's why. If you take a look at my slide, you'll see a green, healthy, evergreen forest, Acadian forest, uh, and a brown, sickly Acadian forest. Now this brown forest has been hit with an outbreak of the spruce budworm. The spruce budworm is an integral part of a boreal ecosystem, uh, but there are cyclical outbreaks um, every century and have been for the last 8,000 years. So these outbreaks cause the defoliation of tens of millions of hectares of trees, um, making the spruce budworm one of the most destructive pests uh, in North America. So um, this is really important for the Canadian forestry industry and forestry dependent communities. Um, we also have over 600,000 forestry dependent jobs um, in Canada. But I said that I work with fungus, not trees or insects. So in my lab, we deal in endophytes. And endophytes are fungi that live inside of plants in a mutualistic relationship. So the, fung the fungus gets a place to live and the plant gets various benefits. But the reason that we're so interested in endophytes in conifer trees is because endophytes produce, some endophytes produce chemicals that do not hurt the tree, but do have an effect on insect pests, such as the spruce budworm. <clears throat> Studies have shown a significant decrease in the size and weight of the spruce budworm when it's been eating from trees that have these endophytes. Um, that have these endophytes. Um, we have two different streams of research in our lab. The first stream looks at um, for new and different species of endophytes. So we're looking for producers of the best uh, anti-insectant chemicals and compounds. And the second stream deals with de the detection of these different species of endophytes in um, substantiated trees, which is what I do. So I'm able to extract the DNA from tree samples, <clears throat> and I'm looking for a specific gene region uh, of these endophytes, of our elite endophytes. And a signal is produced if that gene region is there, and so that I know that that endophyte is in the tree, and the tree can be planted out in the stand, out in the forest, so it's gonna be protected. Um, <clears throat> inoculating these trees with endophytes is like giving them a natural defense system and it's also going to help the tree prevent extreme defoliation without taking the spruce budworm completely out of the, f the food web where it is really important. Um, <clears throat> and there's an urgency in this research right now because Eastern Canada has an epidemic uh, coming up right now. Thank you.